Hi everyone, I'm Xu Changxi from Tsinghua University. I will present our recent research on accessibility entitled Virtual Paving, Rendering a Smooth Path for People with Visual Impairment Through Vibro Tactile and Audio Feedback. Our work is inspired by physical tactile pavings, which are public works for visually impaired people. Compared to kings and dogs, Tactile pavings could help users directly find a clear and free path through haptic cues and the foot. However, their usability is greatly affected by bad maintenance, installation errors, and obstructions. In this paper, we propose virtual paving, which aims to support independent navigation by rendering a safe and smooth path to very impaired people through navigational feedback. Conceptually, Virtual paving not only inherits the benefit of tactile pavings, but also saves the cost of physical deployment and maintenance. Virtual paving relies on three techniques, sensing, planning, and rendering. This work focuses on designing a user-friendly feedback solution to render virtual paving. To render virtual paving, the key task is to get users along a continuous path smoothly and efficiently which is in a sense a path following task. To support this task, PriorWorks mainly explored how to provide turn-by-turn -turn navigation, or how to get users towards a sequence of waypoints. However, few existing systems were validated to support users to follow a continuous path smoothly and efficiently. To address the bio-research question, we conducted three user studies. Firstly, we conducted semi-structured interviews with very impaired people. Our goal was to understand their current practices and difficulties with tactile pavings and path-following tasks. Through the interview, we identified the main concerns and issues affecting the usability of tactile pavings and the information needs for path-following tasks. Based on these findings, we summarized a set of design guidelines of virtual paving. We also distilled three past characteristics that will affect the working experience. Next, to find a user-friendly feedback modality to render virtual paving, we conducted a co-design with very impaired people and identified four promising feedback modalities. We tested the four modalities in navigational tasks with four basic path types, straight paths, gentle turns, sharp turns, and continuous turns. Both performance data and subjective feedback were adopted as evaluation metrics. Results of study 2 show that vibro tactile feedback on the shoulders and wrist outperform the other three modalities, having lower cognitive loads, higher convenience in daily use, and higher overall satisfaction. As a result, in our final feedback solution, we selected vibrations on the shoulders and wrist to indicate directional cues. Moreover, all participants indicated that verbal audio could be additionally employed to describe road conditions ahead of the user, such as low obstacles 2 meters ahead on your left. They stated that such environmental descriptions would make them feel safe. Therefore, we also included the audio descriptions of road conditions in our final feedback solution. The multimodal feedback solution was integrated into a wearable backpack for the convenience of daily use. To enable users to work smoothly and efficiently, we also designed a strategy to indicate directional cues, with a goal to minimize both the likelihood of users walking into the danger zone and the frequency to trigger orientation adjusting cues. The thresholds of the cue generation strategy were selected based on user behavior observed in study 2. Finally, to evaluate whether the multimodal feedback solution could support better navigation experience than a single model feedback, we conducted a lab test with a computer vision module to recognize labeled paths. Guided by the design feedback, 16 very impaired participants completed 127 trials out of 128 trials on 2.1 meter wide basic paths. Results show that vibration plus audio feedback or performed vibration-only feedback in keeping users within the 1.2 meter wide zone and gained higher ratings on working smoothness and overall satisfaction. The contributions of this work are threefold. First, 
We reviewed the current practices and issues of really impaired people with tactile pairings and pass following tasks. Second, we propose a set of design guidelines of virtual pairing and a method to optimize the feedback solution. Third, we designed and implemented a multi-model feedback solution to render virtual paving based on the co-design and evaluation with visually impaired people. Our feedback solution enabled visually impaired users to navigate along 2.1 meter wide path smoothly. Thanks for your attention. Please refer to our paper for more details.